Good morning. Pastor Pete here from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. And I'm here with your Friday morning devotional thought. And uh, I'm in my car. And uh, the windshield is so dirty. We drove up to Phoenix uh, on Easter afternoon to visit my family, my parents, my brother and sister-in-law, and uh, my nieces, my niece and nephews. And um, we had a great time, but there were a lot of bugs that were flying around. And so my windshield is dirty, but I haven't bothered to wash it yet because there's something else that's going on. And there, you maybe you can see it, there's this crack that's going up the windshield and I have to get it replaced. Fortunately, there's glass coverage and insurance, and so I'm not gonna have to pay anything. Uh, and so I'm really lucky. But sometimes in our lives, we feel like we've got these cracks. In fact, it's true. We will, in our lives, discover our frailty and that we are limited as people. But this is kind of like by God's design. In 2 Corinthians, we have these amazing, uh, this amazing passage from Paul in, in chapter uh, 4 of 2 Corinthians, verse 7. It says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. So this treasure, this treasure is the gospel of Jesus Christ, that God sent light into the world and the, the darkness did not overcome it. That as Easter people, we can celebrate resurrection in our lives, that not only did it happen for Jesus, but Jesus extends that life of resurrection to us. But he gives us this treasure in what Paul's talking about as uh, jars of clay. It means that our bodies, just like a jar of clay, is fragile and can crack. Same thing with our lives, is that we are fragile physically, sometimes emotionally, sometimes spiritually. But God's promise is that he will still keep his treasure in us, us as cracked pots, and that it is all the more proof that when we see the power of God at work in our lives, that we as an Easter people can see the miracles of goodness and restoration and transformation around us, that we know that this power is not from us. It is from God. And so it says we're hard pressed on every side, but we're not crushed. We're perplexed, but we're not in despair. We're persecuted, but we're never abandoned. We're struck down, but we're not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may be revealed in our body. Friends, as Resurrection Easter people, I pray that you continue to walk around with that resurrection spirit and hope of Easter, that whatever it is that you're facing, uh, whether you're doing great or whether you're really struggling, that you will know that you have a Savior who is with you, who loves you, and who will guide you through. And displaying his power in your life will be proof that God's with you and for you. Uh, I encourage you to seek this, to ask God for this power today, this all-surpassing power, to guide you through the hours of today and into this weekend. All right, friends, have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. Hope we can worship together online and in person on Sunday.